If you were stranded on Mars, what tech would you want with you? Hey guys, I wanted to talk today about The Martian, you know, the novel that was turned into a hit movie with Matt Damon. Now in that story, a character named Mark Watney is stranded on the surface of Mars after a catastrophic accident, and he has to find a way to survive until a rescue mission can come back and pick him up. So I wanted to look at the technology in that story and find out how much of that is science fact versus science fiction. So let's begin. First, the spacecraft that took astronauts from Earth to Mars is called the Hermes and it uses ion propulsion, meaning it didn't rely on chemical rockets. So is this science fact or science fiction? It's fact. NASA has been working with ion propulsion drives since the 1990s. It's a really cool way of getting around in space. Now it provides very little thrust, but constant acceleration. So it takes a while to get up to speed, but eventually, you move wicked fast. Watney also has to consider how to conserve water while on Mars. And he uses a water reclaimer to do a lot of that work. This is also science fact. We use water reclaimers aboard the International Space Station. Now the one in the story is more efficient than the ones we have today. We can conserve about 93% of the water we use right now. The water reclaimers aboard the ISS capture water vapor in the cabin atmosphere. So when you're drinking water, you're actually drinking former breath and perspiration, and not just from people. NASA also sends animals out into space, so you might have a nice frosty glass of rat breath, also urine. But don't worry, all of this is put through an incredible filtration system, and in fact, the water aboard the ISS is probably more pure than the stuff that comes out of your tap. But what about oxygen? In the story, Mark Watney has a device called an oxygenator, which is able to break the molecular bond between carbon and oxygen in carbon dioxide, which would be amazing. But right now here on Earth, we don't really have such a device. We can break that molecular bond, but often it generates carbon monoxide, which is toxic. Instead, what NASA tends to use is electrolysis. This is a process of putting an electric current through water, H2O, and breaking that molecular bond. Then you get oxygen and hydrogen. NASA vents the hydrogen back out into space or puts it through a system where it can recombine with oxygen further down the line to regenerate water. In the future, NASA might do something that Mark Watney did, use plants and leverage their natural ability to convert CO2 into oxygen. The bottom line here is most of the technology in the Martian exists today. It's just a little bit better than what we have. We do still have some questions about the Martian, like how Mark Watney is magically able to avoid all radiation, of which there is a lot on Mars. But in general, I'm pretty pleased with the science and tech of the story. But I have a question for you guys. If you were stuck on Mars, what piece of non-critical technology would you want with you and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring the show, making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, show us. Hit that little like button down there. And join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. Subscribe to our channel. Then check out these other awesome videos of the future right over here.